okay so whatever thing i have from here to the knee i'll just come down straight all right so if you need it a pencil uh, gown you know how to go about it so this is what all we need for now so i want to impute my that okay so this is my bust pan and i'm imputing my that okay all the way to the waist line so my that is coming down by one and a half inch okay from the bust point so all that's for ordinary darts uh, that is simple that you come down from the bust point this is the nipple point you come down by one inch uh, one and a half inch okay one and a half inches so i will take my dart at, at half an inch half an inch okay so i'll take my dart at half an inch half an inch so this time we don't need a boss dart for this so whatever thing you are going to make but if you need a boss that is all for uh, for you once you sew in the dart everything returns to normal so but for this particular dress i'm not using any boss that to it i'm only applying my waist that okay but let me just do the boss that because i know many of us will want to go by boss that for a perfect fit so remember from here to here is 1.5 if you are making an ordinary uh, dress of holding your dart and your uh, waist dart i will now impute my boss that okay so it has to be the same at this point so this is my boss dart and i'll take it all the way to the chest line okay so on this point i'll also impute my boss that from the nipple point you come down this is 1.5 you also come by 1.5 that is if you are making not too much serious a, a dress just simple dress so we are done with all of this and the next thing we want to talk about is the main business of this tutorial which is the creation of the dress so I wouldn't call this a wrap dress anyway. It's a V-neckline, but it crosses. So at the center front line, as I'm seeing it right on the picture, on the right line, okay, I'm going to come in from this point by one inch, okay, or 1.5. So that is how it actually crosses. Or this is what I'm going to do. This is your darts for you to get this the way it is on the thumbnail okay this is my that and this is my neckline so i'm going to take from the nip of my neckline i'm going to place my pattern ruler like this on the that okay so this is it and that is that and nothing more nothing less so once this goes to this that next is to take that that like straight down can you see so once you take it straight down it forms that dress for you and that is that and we are done with this pattern so the next is to take the neckline once again and bringing back this neckline back to where it meets the center front to form the V can you see that so at this point at this point I'm putting my arrow that is where the neckline is going to be joined so and we are done with this dress right now so if you uh, if you want to increase your neckline all you need to do is to come out a little bit before you do this lines you mark out this line but i'll be leaving it at the natural neckline but i will advise you come out by a, a three quarter three quarter so you you don't have uh, any choke to the neckline so this is it and the dress is done so the next thing now is to attach the pockets the pocket we have right here is moving all the way from above the waistline into the down part so this is how i'm going to position my pocket now my pocket i go by one inch 
from the hip and I come down by one inch from the hip line so this is the kind of pocket we have right there and then I'm going to position the uh, design the pocket to the pocket is also going to be sewn inside this so I'll just go in like this to form the pocket so what we have right here is the pocket you are seeing so you are going to trace out this pocket uh, the way it is once you trace it out it goes back into uh, this particular dress okay all right so i'll be tracing out the pocket now to show you 